We're rolling! Whoa! Let's say we want to get rid of this basketball hoop in this shot because, I don't know, we just want it. When we have a static shot, it's really easy to do. We're just going to export one of these frames right here, and then we're going to take this and toss it into Photoshop. Now that the single frame is in Photoshop, we're going to select around the object we want to remove. Once we have that selected, we'll just type in remove. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Once you remove the hoop in Photoshop, save that frame, take it back into your project, and drag it over that clip. Then just mask out around the basketball hoop and it's gone. The problem now is the basketball goes underneath the mask and disappears. To fix this, we're going to have to animate a frame of the basketball over the mask we just made. So, first, I find a frame where the basketball is in the sky. I'll take that frame, mask around the basketball, then I take the frame, duplicate it, and animate it over the path of the basketball. Now once the background changes from the sky to the ground, you'll need to make your mask tighter around the basketball to hide the change in the background, but you'll lose some of the motion blur. So I'll duplicate that basketball again and put it on top of the other one, add some blur to it, and then take those frames and animate it across the path of the basketball. Once we finish that up, here's what those three clips look like stacked on top of each other. Now I can't tell you how to do this in every single clip exactly, but that's kind of the trick to what I do there. Now this may just seem like a fun fancy trick to do, but let me show you a project where this was absolutely necessary to use. Now where is this really coming in? Andy? Weddings. There's so much going on with weddings all at once. You're worried about composition, directing, posing, people just all over the place. That sometimes someone sneaks into the background or there's just something you miss. Let's look at this wedding I shot this past summer where I had these great shots of the bride and the groom on their own. Just good composition. I love the colors, the exposure, and ah, what is that? Terrible placement for a trash can. Now the shot's not static. If it was static, we could just change it like we've been doing with all the other shots. Here's how we fix it. Same process, let's grab a frame, throw it in Photoshop, remove it, and drop it back in. And let's start at the beginning and drop the opacity to about 50%. Now let's match up the surrounding areas. For instance, right here, I'm gonna look at these trees. I'm gonna match up how the trees look next to each other so it all blends. If you really wanna get precise, go to your blending options and go to difference, and then you'll see exactly where they match up. If it's all black, it's matched up perfectly. Now now we're just gonna go through and keyframe it so it lines up the whole way. Might have to get a little bit bigger at some points, might have to get a little smaller, move it around. That's all you should need. Now I don't recommend keyframing every single frame because then it'll probably be a little shaky. What I recommend is just kind of doing a start, a middle, and an end just so it has a general movement to it. I would also recommend warp stabilizing before you do this as it'll be a lot smoother to track. Now you're just gonna mask out where the trash can is, feather it, boom, you're set. Oh. So much better. Although they probably wouldn't think much, it just makes it feel so much more clean. It makes it feel more professional. Just little things like that, you know? It just, it helps you out. And then what I do for low bonus, I just nest that all together so it's one clip and it's not too much to worry about in your timeline. There's tons of different ways you can use this in your videos. I hope this has been a helpful little trip, trip, trick, trick, trip, tip. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty neat now, isn't it? So, go use it. Um, I got some more tricks I'm going to show you in a bit, but I got to finish those videos, so stay tuned.